Jake Bruton here for The Build Show. I wanted to talk uh, a little bit about advanced framing headers. So we're going to talk about like four different situations here. The wall behind me is a gable upstairs. It's trussed, so the loads are on our sides here. This, this uh, 14 foot wide opening doesn't have a header. It does. It's above. You can't see it because it's covered by some blocking for insulation. But we moved that header up there. And the reason this non-supporting wall needs a header is this is more than eight feet. So the code reads as it's more than eight feet, it's got to have a header. If we swing around to the other 14 foot wide door, you actually can't see the header here either. But what we've done is we've buried a steel beam up top. And these trusses, these floor trusses, are top bearing trusses. So the thing to keep in mind too is order of operations, that steel beam we spray foam to the outside of that beam and full filled that cavity before we put sheathing on. Because if we leave that open, we have steel that's going to pick up any temperature. It's going to be very conductive for the, for the uh, temperature. And then there's a hollow cavity if we don't fill that before we cover it up with sheathing. So there's an order of operations thing there that applies to this header that doesn't apply to any other header in the, in the building. So the next step, we get to the windows out front. So again, there's one peak. This is a gable out here as well. This window is really wide, but you can see we've shoved it as really high up and there's not a header above it. This window is under seven feet. We have a floor truss there carrying a load. We're not worried about this six inches of span above it that, that the wall is carrying. Now, here's where the code gets funny. You can't see it, but this one has a header that's covered by spray foam. This window is not more than eight feet. It's in the same wall. Why does this one have a header when that one doesn't and those do? The code reads, if you're more than two feet to the next horizontal surface. So the space above this window, this frame wall, they consider that enough of a load that then you're going to carry and need a header. So this little two foot wide window has a header when the one next to it that's seven and a half feet wide doesn't have a header. Stay tuned for more little simple tricks like that from the Spring Valley House, from me, Jake Bruton with Aero Building on the Build Show Network.